A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you today about faith. Faith, of course, is my favorite subject. The Bible says without faith, you cannot please God. And he who believes must believe that he is. What, what, what is he? He is the great I am. Must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. My dear friend, if ever you and I needed faith, we need it now in these last days. We need to be calling upon God constantly. And after what happened on the 22nd of April 2017 in Bloemfontein, just outside Bloemfontein, where we saw a million plus people come together in, in the short space of six weeks, we organized that meeting and they came to pray. That is the greatest miracle I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen many miracles, let me tell you. Because it was physically impossible. My son is a boffin when it comes to statistics. He said to me, Dad, it can't happen. And yet he organized it. And we saw 450,000 motor cars, thousands of buses, a train from Cape Town, helicopters and aeroplanes all seated within a couple of hours. It was amazing. 37 entrances. Folks, my life will never be the same again. Now that same Jesus, the miracle worker, he wants to work in your life today. All you've got to do is call upon him. He says in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, Call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things of which you do not know. I want to encourage you folks. Nothing is too hard for God. If we look at Luke chapter 1, verse 37, the Bible says there is nothing that is impossible for God. If God can make a virgin pregnant with the Son of God, can do anything. If God can raise a man that's been dead for four days in a tomb by the name of Lazarus in a moment, there is nothing which is too hard for God. But what God is requiring from you and me is faith. You see, folks, when we don't believe, we tie God's hands. He can't work. We've got to allow Him to work in our lives. I want to encourage you after this little message, you go and spend some time on your own in your room, in your quiet time room, and ask God to forgive you for a spirit of unbelief. And say, Lord, I'm going to choose to believe you for my healing. I'm going to choose to believe for a miracle in my life. Folks, I got a, an SMS yesterday to phone a lady in Winterton, which is very close to us. Her son was a promising rugby player. He had an accident and his ankle was crushed. And they said he will never, ever play rugby again. He might be able to walk, but never play rugby. Do you know that we were preaching on this very program? His mother took a video of the program you're watching. <laughs> Send it to this boy, put it on his phone. He said, I'm believing God for a miracle in this ankle. I said to that, that boy, I, don't, I still haven't met him. I said, you'll play for the Springboks one day. You'll play international rugby. Last Saturday, he ran onto the field with a green and gold jersey on playing rugby for the Springboks in London. Nothing is too hard for Jesus. All he requires from you and I is to believe. And how do we get faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. As that tractor comes down the road, I want to tell you something now. That God is a miracle working God and there is nothing which is too hard for Him. Trust Him and believe in what He says. What's in this book? and you will be saved and your household. God bless you until we meet again. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.